Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. We're inside G Fortress, I believe we just have to talk to whoever has a red marker on them. Let's go. Okay, there's so a red marker in here. Oh, it's Emma. What's going on, Emma? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? There we go. Oh, are you taking a rest, Emma? I did take a short walk around, but everything about this fortress is so imposing. It made me feel a little faint, really. I feel you there. Looking at Emma now, it's hard to believe she's the same person who almost single-handedly guides through that castle. She knows a lot more than she's letting on, Reem. Reem? Nah, never mind. But there is one thing that's been bugging me lately, ever since we arrived in Bergram. I feel like, just out of the corner of my eye, I catch glimpses of this small black shadow following us. Mm. But ever since we got to the fortress, I haven't seen it. Re oh, she's getting nervous, really? Maybe, maybe you were possessed by something. Come on, Emma, really? Possessed? Yikes, that's kind of an unsettling thought, definitely. It is, isn't it? Ooh, glad I told her to go back when we reached Keldic. What is going on with that cat? I have to know, guys. I really have to know. It's driving me insane to not know what's going on with that goddamn cat. That's Sarah? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Tovo gave me a call about what happened in McGram. So you had the mechanical monster show up outside the city limits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tovo looked pretty concerned when you first mentioned it to him, too. Do you know anything about them? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm no stranger to the group that makes them. Ryan Reinford Group, maybe? Oh. They go by the name Ouroboros? They are a secret society of sorts to acts in the shadows all across the continent. Like the Illuminati, huh? Okay. A secret society? We don't know how many members there are, what they're capable of. Honestly, we don't know much about them at all, just like Illuminati. What we do know is that they have access to technology more advanced than the most cutting-edge research institutes. Mm. And that they've been behind several crises, crises that have threatened to shake the foundations of entire nation-states. Oh boy. And these are the people who made those monsters? Apparently so. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd find it hard to swallow. There's no denying what we saw out there. Huh. Well, you don't need to come up to you don't need to come to grips with it just yet. We call the mechanical monsters like the ones you guys fought, Arcus. I don't know how you pronounce that. And maybe it seems like an awful lot of them have made their way to the black market. Oh boy! There's one signing after another these days, all over the Empire and beyond. Wow, that's heavy. Does that mean there's a chance they might be plotting something here in Erebonia? Definitely. Just in your opinion, I mean. Well, that's the tricky thing about them. It doesn't necessarily mean that at all. There have been cases where we know they put A's out in the wild purely to test their abilities, for example. Mm -hmm. Still, it's something to keep in the back of your mind, at least. Definitely. Right, I'll be sure to let the others know, too. Hmm. A bit more. That's fine, alright. Who else? Someone down here. Two people down here. Uh, it's Fee and Laura. Okay. What's going on, Fee and Laura? Talk to you. Hmm. I heard about the fortress from my father, but seeing it in person really drives home its incredible scale. Oh yeah, your father helps train the Imperial Army in swordsmanship, doesn't he? I can see why he's so busy. If he's going around training all the soldiers in places this massive. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I feel like the reality of that is finally sinking in for me as well. I have no idea how his teachings are actually being applied, though. Hmm. Perhaps we'll uh, have the opportunity to find out during today's military training exercise. I'm looking forward to it. Sure. Fee? The soldiers here seem pretty well trained, definitely. Like it. Why do you keep saying that? Pretty well equipped, too. Like you'd expect from the Empire's biggest fortress. You need to put them in some serious prep time if you want the top one. Hmm. Uh, Fee, I'm not sure that's something you should say with an earshot of the soldiers. 
hee hee, old habits die hard. Now we're- oh, someone up here too. That's Nyhard someone else. I don't know. Hmm, so you're the students who have come to tour the fortress. Lieutenant General Walter. Alright. Yes, sir. He's wearing an officer's uniform. I wonder if he's... This is Lieutenant General Walter, commander of G Fortress. Oh, must be very important then. He also serves as division commander for the 5th Armored Division, which is stationed here. Alright. Ah, I apologize for not greeting you sooner, sir. I thank you for granting us the opportunity to tour the fortress. It really is the honor. Hmm, well, at least you aren't lacking in manners. How are you built like a soldier, though? Dude! I have my doubts that you'd be able to endure the military's training regimen with a physique like that. Dude! You sure you're training them pop properly, Major? Yes, he is. My apologies, sir. Though I hear the Academy has a former bracer as their combat instructor. They must really be scraping bottom. Ooh, you should throw some shade there. I've heard of the purple lightning before, before, of course, but a bracer is still a bracer. Even such an important role in the hands of a civilian is ridiculous. The famous force isn't what it used to be. Shut up. Well, no surprises here. It's like he feels in every box on the checklist for a stereotypical Imperial Army soldier. It definitely does. Anyway, as Fortress Commander, allow me to welcome you to the G. Keep in mind, though, that we're constantly on the war for potential threats from the East. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with your class conducting your field study here, but see that you don't get in the way. Oh, definitely not. Of course, sir. Very well, I'll take my leave here, as I have business to attend to. Okay, bye, dick. <coughs> Ooh, he's certainly strict. Well, he is responsible for keeping one of the Empire's most vital defensive fortifications running smoothly. It's no excuse to be a dick. Considering the ongoing tensions between the Empire and the Republic, you should be grateful he allowed you to come at all. I won't forget it. Now, I'm afraid I must excuse myself as well. You're welcome to tour the rest of the fortress, but don't try to enter the command center. Of course. Good luck with your work, Instructor. I'll see you later, then. So where is the command center? I should know not to go there. Oh, right there. Don't go in there. Gotcha. <laughs> So who else do I speak to? I guess I just check out the other areas? I'm not sure. Okay, you can go into the center junction. Oh god, I have no idea where to go. This is pretty big. It's locked, there's no way to explore past here. Alright, fair enough. The less places I have to go to, the better off we'll be. Okay, so to the left. This place is gigantic. Holy crap. Tank garage. Yeah, that definitely is a tank garage. <laughs> Seems like this is the hangar for tanks and armored cars, you think? It's kind of staggering to see so many of them lined up in one place. Okay, who's in here we have to speak to? Someone down there. I will admit, this part's kind of mundane, just having to go around talking to people. Hopefully they'll pick up at some point. Elliot? I'm not looking forward to this. You've never seen any military exercises before, right, Reem? I don't know. Yeah, this will be my first time. Okay. I take it you have, then? Probably. Yeah, my dad showed me one the last time he brought me out here. He really does want me to join the military, but... I really don't think I'll ever be suited for it the way he is. I get where you're coming from. The more I hear about his dad, the more curious I get. Yeah, we still haven't met him yet. I'm not entirely sure how to feel seeing so many A's line up like this. The Ryder Company makes these, don't they? Unfortunately so. I'm sure they'll be using them for this military exercise, too. 
As far as I can tell, they'll be pitted against the older automated models, alright? That sounds pretty brutal. The older tanks won't stand the chance. Well, that's kind of the point. They want to show off just how easily the A's can dominate them. Hmm. Well, you don't get the chance to go eyes on with this stuff every day. I'll take the opportunity to see for myself just how competent they are. That's just like her. Okay, so... Oh my god, this place is huge! Oh no, wrong way, wrong way. Wait, this is just me back up to where we just were? Okay. Okay, fair enough. So we can go to the straight or to the right? Let's get the right out of the way if we can. Can we go out this way? Yes, we can. Wow. We are pretty expansive, not gonna lie. Am I supposed to be outside now right now, though? That's the big question. I can't believe the size of this place. Oh? Given that uniform, you must be one of the students from Fours. That's me. Feel free to look around all you like, but try to stay out of our way. We're all incredibly busy at the moment. So if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you to make your way to the corridor over there instead of hanging around here. Understood. Thank you very much. Might as well head over there. Which corridor are you talking about? Oh, apparently I was supposed to go this way. All right. Who's on the bridge? Oh, guys, Nusis, okay. <clears throat> guys, are you okay? Why wouldn't he be okay? I was kind of shocked by how different the atmosphere here is from Zender Gate. Well, it is a major military base right on the border of Crossbell. I never imagined it'd be quite this big, though. This place is such a departure from Zender Gate that I can hardly believe that this is the same military. Although, perhaps this is the true face of the Imperial Army. Mm. Uses. This fortress is the very definition of oversized. Mm -hmm. And that's ignoring the excessive display of military power. I imagine that the posturing is meant to show the cruising and provisional army that they can crush them on the whim. Mm. I forgot what this place probably means to you and your family. I suppose. While I don't agree with my father's actions, I can't see I'm comfortable with this fortress's presence either. In fact, I find it hard to believe that anyone could sleep peacefully near a fortress like this. Well, we know tensions are going to spill at some point, Milliam. Aw, I guess you can't see it from here after all, the railguns. We'd be able to see it from wherever the railguns are, but they'll get mad if I get too close to them. Where are you up to now, Milliam? Know that huge Orcus Tower where they're holding the trade conference? I tried to get a good view of that. Oh yeah, they mentioned it in the Imperial Chronicle and on the radio. Can you actually see it from all the way over here? That'd be incredible. Would I ever lie to you? Maybe. I wish I could have gone with Gramps instead of being stuck on some stupid field study. Why'd you join Class 7 then? Speaking of which, they're gonna hold, um, going to be holding the keynote session there tomorrow. I wonder what they'll be talking about during it. Peace? War? I have no idea. Alright, the finances. Most people are thinking it's just so they can decide finance rules and stuff with the Westerns and Moria. I think it's really going to end up being about who Crossbow belongs to. Knowing Gramps, he might even try to get Crossbow to become a part of your bony. Eh. Seriously? The price is going to be there too, so he'll probably just try to shake everybody up a bit. Unbelievable. Toa is there too, so here's go f hoping things go well. I really hope Toa doesn't die either. Cause I imagine. Oh, dead end. Dead end. All right. I imagine if Gideon is gonna strike s somewhere or something, he would attack the trade conference, right? That's what I would do if I was in this position. 
But how exactly he's gonna do that about the flute? I have no idea. Raw power? Storm of the place? I have no idea. I just don't know. Turn the fortress. Alright, so let's check out this room. Freight platform? Okay, nobody here to talk to, but we have to go across, apparently. Can I get across from here? No, I cannot. Alright. Hmm, so, how do I get over to that area? Well, if there's a will, there's a way. If there's a way, we'll find it. Okay, back upstairs. Yeah, we're already over here, but we didn't see any means of getting over. Very confused. Yeah, that's the training, that's the meeting room. We're already in there. And that's all, you're already in there. I don't think we were this way yet. Flight port. Damn. Looks like this is the fortress's airport. There might come a day when I find myself on a military airship. Anybody out here we have to talk to? Yes, two people? Two people, alright. Machias and Crow, alright. Crazy, it really is night and day. Yeah, it's hard to imagine two places more diametrically opposed. What's wrong, you two? Oh, we were just talking about how different this place is to Uri. Uri was super lively, but this place... I think Crow's having withdrawals now that he's somewhere about easy access to a casino at all times. I thought he was underage and couldn't gamble. I can imagine. It seems like everyone's talking about your eye these days, though. Was it really that amazing? Probably was. Okay, it was. I didn't know what to expect with the recent annexation by Erebonia, but everything looked fine to me. His offices, the entertainment district, and all the people I saw were thoroughly enjoying themselves. Damn. Too bad I missed out on that. I go as far as to say they're, they're happy to be under the Imperial government's control. Really? I don't know if I go that far. Oh? A little bird told me Chancellor Osborne was the one behind the annexation in the first place. It also told me that he used some pretty forceful tactics to get them to agree. Ooh. And of course, most of your tax money takes a brand new detour straight into the Imperial government's pockets. Ugh. I wouldn't be surprised if he made the annexation happen just to fatten his pocketbook. But paying taxes, taxes is a citizen's duty. It's only natural that they do so now that they're under Erebonia's protection, right? I don't know about that. It sounds like this is a pretty complicated issue. Okay, so who else do I talk to? Them? I've been everywhere, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, it scared me. This bulletin is to inform all four students that preparations for today's military exercise are now complete. Please assemble in the hangar immediately. Your transport is standing by. I repeat. That's Instructor Nightheart. The time must have passed more quickly than I thought. Mm -hmm. I suppose I should start making my way toward the hangar. Maybe I'll run to the others on my way. You gonna warp me there? We board the armored cars and set off toward the probing grounds. Okay, here we are. Are we all gonna fit inside those tiny things? I guess so. Alright, cool. The inside of the armored cars was narrow and cramped, that's what I thought. And the smell of machine oil hung in the musty air. The car shook and rattled over the uneven ground, tumbling us around like an iron coffin on wheels. Eventually, 
After enduring 10 minutes of jaw rattling travel, unable to peek outside to even peek outside the scenery, we finally arrived at G Fortress's military probing grounds. Good. So are they gonna actually blow up the other tanks? I'm not sure. G Fortress Annex Military Training Ground. Yeah, it looks like they're facing off against each other. Tanks versus tanks. Wow, A main battle tanks. There are plenty of older model tanks out there too. It even looks like they have airships here. Oh yeah, with the ones we saw in Nord. Manly voice, welcome. Who's that? Oh, is that your father? Oh. Is that Olaf Craig? So that's Elliot's dad. Okay. I don't see the family resemblance. Feet, not, um, not appropriate. Looks like the hair made the jump from fire to the sun, though. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. What are you talking about? Reporting, Lieutenant General. Very good, Nightheart. Inspector Valstein, I believe. Pleased to meet you. It's an honor to make your acquaintance, Lieutenant General Craig. Well, I want to extend my deepest thanks for agreeing to cooperate with us for the Academy's curriculum today. Think nothing of it. Many of these fine youngsters may one day hold positions in the Imperial Army, after all. We'll see. Besides, I owe a lot to old General Van Dyke. You gonna notice your son? Ah, and these must be... What a piercing stare. So this is Craig the Red. Um... Elliot, my boy, it's so good to see you again. Huh? It must be half a year now since I last saw you. How have you been? It's a sharp-looking uniform you got, too. I've seen the photos, but it looks even better on you in person. Dad, come on. You still got a long way to go if you want to put on some real muscle. <laughs> It's a part of me that hopes you'll stay at my little cherub forever. But you're a man of Erebonia, and the men of the Empire must be strong, stout, and ready for action. It was for your own good as a man that I held back my tears and enrolled you in the military academy. Dad, I can't breathe. <laughs> uh... Why is Nightheart so pissed off? I feel like everything I've been told about him is a lie. There do seem to be some differences from the stories. You kidding me? He seems like a cool guy. What the rifle commanding officer you have, Major? Words fail me. Dad, knock it off. I'll tell Fiona. <laughs> uh -huh, moving rather long. Change the subject real quick. Lieutenant General Olaf Craig. I'm Lieutenant General Olaf Craig, commander of the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. I've been entrusted with the role of overseeing today's joint military exercise. Mm -hmm. Please make your acquaintance, sure. Likewise, sir. It's a pleasure, sir. You got one heck of a dad, Elliot. Believe me, I felt feel it in my in the bones. <clears throat> now I'll give you a brief rundown of what'll be happening, yes please. This exercise will consist of a simulated battle conducted by two of our armored divisions, okay? Armored regiments at the Formation Center, infantry, armored cars, and airships work in tandem, using their maneuverability to the fullest to obliterate the targets. As our targets today will be using previous model tanks that have been decommissioned from service. That seems like kind of a waste to waste all those old tanks. Why don't you just like scrap them for parts or something? All the pilot functionality will allow them to evade and return fire, but they've only been armed with pink bullets. Oh, that's good. However, all other regiments taking part in today's exercise have been equipped with live ammunition. So, you intend to actually destroy the other tanks, obviously. It would hardly be a live fire exercise if we didn't. Hmm. The current time is 1400 hours, right on schedule. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't we be standing by some sort of protection? We'll now begin today's joint military exercise. Armored Divisions 4 and 5 commence combat operations. 
Glory to the Empire and the Imperial Army. Begin. Is this gonna go horribly wrong? Yes, sir. Fifth Armored Division, Armored Regiment will advance first. Armored Car Regiment and Infantry Regiment follow their lead. Fourth Armored Division, Armored Regiment and Infantry Regiment advance together. Armored Car Regiment deploy to the left and right. I really hope nothing bad happens here. Okay, it was pretty straightforward so far. Damn, air superiority. Oh good, protection, finally. <laughs> Wow. It's certainly potent. So this is the kind of firepower it takes to fight a modern war. Oh, definitely. To... You said those tanks are called... I don't know how you pronounce that. Yeah, they're a type of main battle tank the Reinhardt Company developed two years ago. I've seen the spec sheets, but seeing their power firsthand tells you what numbers and decimal points don't. They might be the strongest heavy tanks in the continent. And the Imperial Army's got a couple hundred of those in the wings, huh? Guess so. That's kind of crazy. You try fighting these uh, these things like these head on, you won't stand a chance. That's as true for our own nation as for its others. As it is for others, excuse me. I just can't get used to this. Just the sound of the artillery firing is enough to make me start shaking. I don't think that's something you should get used to, I mean... If the sound of guns in warfare ever stop bothering you, I'd be worried. Green. Oh, well, there he goes again. I guess this is another kind of strength. We're really hoping to get some more answers soon about what the cat does, or is, what the hell it's supposed to represent. Thus, the military exercise came to an end. The 4th Armored Division, led by Lieutenant General Craig, withdrew to an encampment near the fortress, okay? We might return to the fortress where Major Nighthor outlined the results of the training exercise, okay? After that... After that what? Oh, nighttime. Nothing bad's gonna happen during nighttime, right? <laughs> Not with this peaceful music playing. Okay, back in the mess hall. Or not, I don't see our group. Oh, there we are. Sorry you had to wait for us to finish. Don't worry about it, we're the guests here after all. Thanks for your consideration. At the very least, I'd say dinner's a million times better than lunch was. Hopefully. I mean, it's hashed beef, ew. That's an Imperial Army tradition, isn't it? I don't know. Ooh, just the smell is making me hungry. Oh yeah, where'd your instructor go? It's a good question. She's a real looker. I was hoping to get a chance to talk to her. Not appropriate. She went to see the Fortress Commander with Instructor Nightheart. She did ask us to eat without her tonight. Really? Ah, right. Well, she's with Major Nightheart. It's hard to compete with those guys from the 4th Armored Division. <laughs> Be enough if they just had Craig the Red, but they got the Major too, and he's kind of scary. Haha. <laughs> I got the vision of Muscle Man. Anyway, we shouldn't keep you tied up any longer. Your hash peeps gonna get cold. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay, now we're chilling. Wow, it's actually delicious, really. It's like night and day compared to what we had for lunch. You're telling me. Hmm. Oh, come on, guys. What's with all the gloomy faces? You think you guys might have had a bit too rosy of an outlook? What were you expecting to see out there? I'm sure you can understand at least a little of how we feel. Not really. 
It's like, has everything we've worn in our time at the Academy been for nothing? I don't know, has it? Academics, the arts, individual skill in combat? None of these matter in the slice in real warfare, do they? Mm. It's true. If all you're looking to do is fight a war, you don't need any of those. All you need is plenty of troops at your command, the latest weaponry, and overwhelming firepower. Assuming you know the taxes to use them well and the strategy that employs them effectively, I suppose. The A's are even more powerful than I was expecting them to be, too. I remember my mother boasting about their capabilities when she was trying to sell them to the army about two years ago, but... To be honest, I'm feeling somewhat disheartened as well. I can't see there being a place for swords on the battlefield with weapons like those in the front lines. Well, obviously something's bad is going to happen to all those tanks. Well, I don't think that means individual combat skill doesn't matter at all. Still, I think maybe we've been misunderstanding something important all this time, which is... We saw that military exercise today was power in its purest form. It has no morality of its own. It exists to bring about the result, regardless of the ideas or principles of those who wield it. That's true. In a sense, the same can be said of a sword or a gun. And all the way up on something as huge as G's railway guns, too. I think they finally understand why they want us to watch that military exercise in the first place. Hmm, they could have just tossed the rest roundabout fashion. Well, it's like you didn't wait for me to start the party, Sarah. You told us to eat without you, didn't you? Instructor Sarah? So, you spoke with the commander? Sure did. I got up-to-date info at the trade conference, too. As well as the latest, all the latest on the terrorists. What you got? Do tell, Sarah. So there's new information about the Imperial Liberation Front? Anyway, before I get to that, let me explain what you'll be doing tomorrow. In the morning, you're scheduled to participate in the Army's... Imperial Army's physical fitness training. Oh boy. In the afternoon, you'll be attending a special lecture where I'll bring you up to speed on that info I just mentioned. Please tell us now. After that, you've been granted special permission to view the railway guns. Mm. That's so. I see. Looking forward to that. No, we're not. Sounds like we got a pretty packed schedule. Well, we did bring you all the way out here, so we might as well make the most of it. Every nation possesses power in the form of a military, whether that military is large or small. G Fortress just happens to have that power in a very striking, easy-to-understand form. As students of a military academy, you have an obligation to know the scale of the power. The Empire of Erebonia wields at present a power you might one day be in charge of yourselves. What? Hee hee. Anyway, even a meeting that long couldn't keep me away from trying the famous hash beef rice. <laughs> I've heard it's the only decent food they have around here, so I've been looking forward to this all day. Sure, you're gonna tell us about the terrorists? We should probably finish eating. Yeah, though it's gotten a bit cold now. We gotta go and ask for seconds. Oh, oh, Eustace, if you don't want the rest of yours, can I have it? <laughs> I should have thrown it away and give it to you. Wow. Eustace does really not like Milliam, does he? I mean, I don't anticipate something happening at night, but you never know. Okay, some men are by a computer. Quick kick. Okay, that should do it. Alright, that covers today's quota. Woo, I'm looking forward to a nice long bath. Well, you know how every time there's a military exercise coming up, the work world gets pretty crazy like this. Still, at least managing inventory has gotten a lot easier thanks to the Orbital Net. They got everything hooked up on the network over in Crossbow, right? Wish the Empire would get on that a bit more. Think of the utility. Or from the sound of it, you need special equipment to send signals through a wire connection to make use of it. And considering the size of the Empire, it's probably going to be a, quite a while before it's a widespread thing here, right? Oh, what's wrong? Uh oh, huh? An orb mail? Looks like it's from HQ. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, what's wrong? 
This right here is the problem with the Orbal Net. There's no such thing as off hours when they can just send you orders around the clock. Mm, go figure. Huh? What's going on? So get this, they're planning on doing some extra exercise tomorrow. That means we've got outfit 20 A's with C's by tomorrow. 20! Seriously? I guess so. Might as well start up another pot of coffee. We're in for an old nighter for sure. Do we even have that many C units left? Hmm. I'll show you another walking by freight just this evening. Yeah. Exactly 20, if you can believe it. Are these going to be a problem? Are they going to be like sabotaged to not work or something? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to get it done. Crap. We still have to take a shower. <laughs> I'm going to head down to the mess hall and grab some snacks. You want anything? Okay, they wouldn't showcase that scene unless it had some important value, right? That's just the way I look at it. Maybe that's what causes the problem. The tanks go haywire or something? I don't know. The thing is, though, aren't these tanks like... Are they manual tanks or are they automated tanks? I don't know. Because if they're automated and someone's hacked into them, that'd be a major problem. Ah, shit. God damn it. That's why I don't like to leave the uh, drink on my seat. Big problem, alright? Anyway, guys, I think we're going to take a break here. You know, the same thing with the medical condition. Let's just take a break. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.